Okay. I know it's been a while since I've done a playthrough. I apologize. I know most people were enjoying the playthroughs that I was doing before, and then I kind of switched up to, like, funny compilation videos and whatever, but I promise it's not the end of doing playthroughs. I was just trying something different, and hopefully you guys like the variety, but I will continue doing playthroughs because I think it's the most fun that I've ever had doing YouTube videos, so... With that being said, hello heathens, welcome back. Today we are playing Firewatch. I have never played this game in my life. I have watched uh, walkthroughs and playthroughs back then, but it's been years since I've seen it. And I basically forgot everything that happens in this game. So I'm practically going to be playing it for the first time. Like I've never even seen the game in my life. No memory of anything. So sit back, relax, let's play this together and just, yeah, just chill. Oh, is this my cue? Oh, you see Julia. My bad. I thought this was a cutscene still. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her? You are drunk. Oh no. Um, so what's your, you know, major? <laughs> you, you're pretty. <laughs> Let's go with the... the better choice. <laughs> you slur the word major, and it smells like cores. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology. <laughs> Was that a burn, you ask? She says, definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks you if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Aww! Backpack? I'll take that. Oof, the sensitivity is pretty high. Guessing this is my my car. Yeah, throw that back there. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. Yes, please. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German shepherd. Nothing bad can happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Ah. <sighs> I like beagles though, but I love German Shepherds. But we're doing it for her. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. Aww. 1979. You talk on the deck. It's summer, 9:30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off the highest or off the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asked. I knew I was going to stutter at some point. I'm surprised I didn't do it sooner. <laughs> kids? They're not very smart. Or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some. A couple little idiots. <laughs> that would be pretty good. Or, one day, why rush? Hmm. <sighs> 
uh, get the first one. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. <laughs> you say she's absolutely right. I kind of agree. <laughs> Life seems amazing for Henry. Thoroughfare Trailhead. I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. First of all, let me lower the dang sensitivity. Feels like I'm about to hit some flick shots right now. Uh, is it controls? Mouse sensitivity? Let's do... 32? Did I even change it? I'm not sure. Hold on. I did. That's still pretty high. Jesus. Uh. Okay. Oh, that feels a lot better. Okay. Can I sprint? No? Nineteen eighty. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad, you ignore her. <sighs> I would say at least get mad, because ignoring is just terrible. I can never give somebody the cold shoulder. You call her an inconsiderate asshole. Okay, never mind. I took that back. Jesus Christ. Um, she tells you to fuck yourself and to not be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. Oh, God. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Yes, that one. Very nice. My god, this game is beautiful. So I guess while I'm walking through the forest, I'm just like reminiscing of the past. What it feels like to me at least two forks a fire lookout uh and eight more miles still oh my god space bar nice parkour Ooh. 1982 during the summers you and julia enjoy walking bucket at night there's a festival in town it brings in folks from faraway places one of them tries to mug you with a knife? Are you kidding me? Bucket gets kicked. But fuck the dog! Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away. Or you beat his goddamn face in that one. Yeah. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay? You don't want to go that way either. Oh, okay. From then on, you walk by the river. I thought she was breaking up with me because I beat him to a pulp. I was like, what? 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job? Agree if she commutes back and forth. That's fair. Do it, yes. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that that'll be hard, but she'll do it for you. It She'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Yes. 
good. 1985. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Oh. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to somebody about it? You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. No. You want to address that. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Wow. At 41? just got flashed <laughs> Bucket is getting older Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house a week later she goes back to the university 1987 Julia's affliction gets worse she can't remember things in class the research is in shambles she drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police She's devastated. She's sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Ju wait. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope, and you, your unborn child. Oh what? I can't read. <sighs> Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope, and your unborn children, little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. No. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggested that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility. You're determined to take care of her by yourself. Oh, fucking hell. Determined. We're determined. I love the art style. I love games that are not like too realistic. Just enough to have like some kind of... Some kind of expression. Like art expression, you know? Come here. Come here! No, don't run! No! It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her. Like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter. Drinking then, too. You start to go out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You put a chair in the front of the bedroom door. You trust that she sleeps like a rock. Um, yeah, the other... No, what? You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. 1989. One night you are stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a .10 and are taken to jail for the night. 
You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Oh my god. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Oh, we made it. We made it. Look at the night sky. Oh my god. Wait, I feel like it could get very creepy out here real quick though. I don't do well in the forest. I get a little too paranoid. Look at the Luna. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. <laughs> I have a fear of heights. <laughs> Ooh. Let me in. Wait. Nothing else out here? Ooh. Generator switch? Damn, why'd you slap it so hard? Door? Hello, Two Forks Tower. Oh my god. Who's this? <laughs> Reply? Hold left shift to activate radio. Oh, okay. Uh... Left click, shift, wait, oh, release, oh. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. No? I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? <laughs> People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? <laughs> that's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... What, sleep? Forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Uh... Do I want to overshare to a person I do not know or have never seen? You've killed three ex-husbands. You're rebelling against mom. Nobody back home can stand you. Uh, that okay. one. Okay, <laughs> uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow, and you're just out here until the heat dies down, and then you'll kill again. Ooh, very good. Bravo, Henry. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay. Oh. Right, bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Wow. Oh, is that it? Close? Oh, good look, night. a pine cone. <laughs> good night. Welcome to the job. What? <laughs> Day one. Oh God. What? Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Uh. <sighs> yeah. I guess we'll work. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah. I Jesus. would too. I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. Mm hmm. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, whoop. <laughs> Not what I meant to do, but, uh... Yes. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, five... What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to... Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm Watch seeing? Watch your profanity. Uh... Uh... Are those fucking fireworks? Where? Where? Where's West? I don't know where West is. Huh? I need you to confirm. Do you see them? No, I don't. Oh, and to use compass. Where did, she said West, right? 
This way. Seriously, are you seeing this? No. <laughs> Let's just tell her yes. Whoa. Oh, there it is. Legal, right? <laughs> uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest Oof. ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. Damn. Um. Like kick the shit out of them? Can I write them a ticket? Do you Not think really. you can handle that? Uh. Uh. Do I write them a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is one two three four. It's actually that. What's with the pine cone? Secure. Shut up. Okay. Let me leave. Wait, she said to get a rope from the supply. The supply box? Oh my god. Where's that at? Hold on now. Whoa, we got a map too? Hold on now. <gasps> can I... Can I go... All over here? Like... There's no way, right? This is just for looks. Oh my god, this view. Okay guys, if you want a wallpaper, here you go. Uh, there you go. Boom. Take a picture. Perfect. Alright. Let's get going. I'm gonna take a guess that uh, maybe, just maybe, the supply box is all the way at the bottom? It better be because I don't want to walk all the way down here for no reason. Is that it? No, it's not it. Oh, yes. I think that's it right there. No, wait, that might be an outhouse. It is, yeah. Oh, 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 it's a butterfly. Why am I getting scared? This is not a scary game. <laughs> oh, baseball. Nice toss. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hairdryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. Ugh, I could never. Wait, how did I bring out my compass before? Uh, 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 north. No, we're going west. Yeah, we're going west. Okay. Oh, <gasps> wait. I'm totally forgetting. Find rope and... Oh, cash box 306. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. We're going the right way. My ADD is kicking in. I feel it. Let me, let me hit my vape real quick. Hold on. Parkour. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I would probably be winded by now. Doing this little hike. <laughs> he said he he hiked for like two days. That's a long time. I found the supply box. Great. Okay. Open. Oh my god, what was the code? Is it one, two, three, four? <laughs> okay. A rope? What is with the pine cones? Ah! Get out of here. Yes, I'll take that though. And... Uh, no! What? Um... Oh, eat! Yeah, sure, why not? I was thinking about, like, saving it for later, but that's cool, too. Cool. What does this say? 
Oh god. Um <clears throat> Ron. Hey man, guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lockout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked. Hiking into the park. But let's get fucked when I'm back. Dave. Uh Word? Alright. Did I just, just dropping it on the floor? Alright, just littering in the forest. Dun dun dun, Cotton Eye Jones. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Dun dun dun, dun, dun Cotton Eye Jones. Wait, am I going off the trail? Oh no. Talk about the jogging? Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Can I cut through here? Oh my god, that's loud. Uh, uh. Maybe I should stay on the trail. Oh god, here we go. Shale slide, it's steep. Ooh, yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Even with a rope, I would probably slip on my ass. Faster. <laughs> I know that that knocked the wind out of him. He still has his wedding ring on. So sweet. Oh, pff, wrong button. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did ya? No. Almost. Don't make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. It's getting dark. Where are those fireworks at? Nowhere? Report Meadow? Oh, wow. <gasps> I keep pushing the wrong button. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. I would love to- Oh, they ran! Son of a guns. Uh... Well, I put out their fire. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Oh shit. Drink it, drink it. Irish. Oh, we'll save for later. Yeah. What is that? What am I hearing? Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Bet. Save that for later too. Give me this. Oh, we're cleaning? But we're also littering, so... They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. <laughs> what is that? No. That's a bra! I found a bra. A nudie Examine? Remain professional. Please don't tell me he can grab it. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Uh, uh, there are, uh, panties. <laughs> there are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? See, that's... I guess it's not just me saying the word panties. It just feels weird. It definitely sounds like I'm... I don't know. Like I'm 12, like she said. Another bra. Uh, yes. <laughs> there are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? No. Come on. No. I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know. Two. Yeah. Uh. I know this will be tough for you, but try guys? to take your tongue up off the ground and do your job. <laughs> okay. I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? 
Oh, oh boy. Enjoy dealing with that. Oh my god. I look like such a creep right now. They're drunk. Go stereo! Fucking cool it with the fireworks. Please just put it down. You won't light anymore. So I. <laughs> you probably have a tiny dick. Oh hell no! Nah. Fuck you. You, you asshole! <laughs> Fight another firework and it won't be your stereo Iraq. Oh fuck you, psycho! Yeah, fuck you. Ew! Don't fucking pay for this. You can't just harass girls in the woods. Let's get out of here. What? They just... Wait, am I seeing ghosts? They just disappeared. What the? Hey, that go okay? No. Uh. I might have got a little hot. <laughs> What's a little hot? Some of their personal property took a swim. Ugh. Well, I can't do Wait, anything about going? it now. Nope. Thanks for dealing with him, though. Seriously. No problem. You're welcome. Yeah, I took it a little too far, but... Hey, man. She said I had a little dick. Okay? Can't let that slide. I wasn't being mean or anything. If you're gonna be like that, I'm gonna be mean back. I don't think I'm going the right way, but... Unless... Did I go through here? What the heck was that? I was just doing a little animation, <laughs> jumping down. Whoops. Do I have stamina so, as well? Whoa. I have a bit of a confession to make. Oh god. What is it? Um, look, I was I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, <laughs> you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. Oh god. Okay, I just need to keep going straight. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort oh, of thing to, to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Sir, yes sir. Oh my god, that scared me. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Oh, pfft, thanks. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I... Why would like you say that? that? Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? <laughs> Suicide. Would you oh. believe? Oh my god! Ah! Oh. Yeah, good job. A horn? Don't need that. Um... I do need this, though. Cool. Now, let me check the map real quick. I think I might be going too far. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. Ah. <laughs> uh, a cave? No. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. Oh, but in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. <laughs> right. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. Uh... Oh my god, I could prank her. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe it's mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. 
Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Oh, sorry, Hank. Uh, my thing was glitched for a second. Wouldn't want to put the walkie away. Oh, my God. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is Stop it? Stop it. It's... outside. Come on. Oh. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. No, it is not. That creeped me out. You know, I wasn't expecting anyone else here, so... I, I took the long way around. Oh my lord. So now I'm just going south for the rest of the way. Is there anything here? No? Where's my compass? Yeah, I'll go through here. Oh man, this... This commute... What really screwed me over is that I, I got lost in the bushes, back by the lake, so I went in the wrong direction for a brief second and that took me the long way. Noted. Keep your compass out as much as possible. Can you please move? <gasps> what? Oh my god, I thought he was gonna fall back. Please. What was the button for my... stupid flashlight? Oh, F. Come on. Oh. <gasps> no. Stop. Uh... What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. Oh, How the hell- my god. You should get inside. Fuck no! Me. Hello? No! Someone broke in. They what? They just- they wrecked the place, threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit! Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Oh, they really went through everything. The place is trashed. Oh, this sucks. My fucking sheets are gone! They stole your sheets? That's just mean. Okay, I put in a call. Okay, thanks. Why did the screen any idea who would have done this? Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about paranoid. bears and fires and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts. Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Uh... Well, I sure don't now. You will. I, I promise. Well, all right. That sucks. Wake up. Wake up. I'm already awake. I just need my peace and you're not giving hey, it to me. Up. Okay. Before I continue, I think this is a good stopping point. Um, thank you guys for whoever stayed to the end i appreciate you guys part two will be up very very soon 
um, I'm probably going to just keep uploading this back to back since it is a short game. And I don't do much editing to these kind of videos, so hopefully you guys will see it in the next like week or so. No promises. I have IRL stuff going on like always, just like anyone else. So I appreciate you. Thank you, heathens. I'll see you in the next video.